forgot to do an intro. Hi, it's Vigazus, we're doing hair. Okay, so we're gonna do a hair tutorial. I just washed my hair, but we're gonna try this anyway. It's already drying, so that means that it's pretty damaged right now. I think it's because I've been using something that's not great, so today we're gonna go back to products that um, are a little bit more better. Uh, I think this means that <laughs> the porosity is off, but I'm not a hair expert. I never said that I was, so don't hold that against me. When I'm washing, I use Shea Moisture. Actually, a lot of my products are Shea Moisture. So I just use the shampoo conditioner combo. It's probably, again, not the best for my hair type. It's supposed to be super moisturizing, but I think it's over moisturized. I think that's what this texture means. So we're just gonna kind of go through the process because people keep asking. Maybe throw in some religious topics while we do that. Um, but yeah, I got out of the shower, still went in places and already drying in places. So what I do is I wet it in the sink before I start applying product. That way the curl stays. So let's do that now. We just go over the dry bits again. So don't really dry it, just add water to the frizzy bits that were looking like they were already dry and doing that whole thing. Ugh. I hate that my hair has gotten to this point. If you can let it not get to this point, it makes life so much easier. So basically what we're gonna start with is leave-in conditioner. I use again, Shea Moisture. It's all right. I had another one, it was like some kind of coconut milk, but I found out it was not Curly Girl Method approved. Like, that's the most important part. Try to stay away from parabens, um, silicones, all these other things. This is what I've been using, a five-in-one conditioner, gel, mousse, hold in, all of it. And this is what's been destroying my hair. It is called Perfect Hair Day, and it keeps your hair perfect for those couple days. After maybe two or three weeks in a row, it gets damaged like this. It's probably great for straight hair. Try it if you have straight hair. But essentially, easy enough. Just gonna run conditioner through the curls. Try not to touch them as much as you can. That way, they stick together and you're not breaking it up. Oh. I forgot to do an intro. Hi, it's Vigazus, we're doing hair. Okay. Okay, okay, I guess we could shoot that at the end too. Just running it through, running it through. Oh my God, there's like one little dot on my screen and it's gonna make me go eye sensitive. So if I have a seizure, just bear with me. I'll pop right back up. Ugh. The worst part about this is uh, just having anxiety of what's happening in my phone land. Right now I have that video about washing feet blowing up. It's a question. Why did Ruth uncover Boaz's feet in the cave? I mean, wouldn't that just make him cold? Oh honey, you think that's about feet? No. Okay, if it's not about feet, then what's it about? Well, scholars of the text say that feet's actually a euphemism for some axe. Another example of this is when we see King David tell Uriah to go back to his house to wash his feet so he doesn't commit adultery. Ooh, okay, so feet and sex can be interchangeable. But Mary washed Jesus' his feet! And I just want to be in there defending myself. That's the part people don't tell you about social media is the over need to try to comment in defense of yourself on every single post. So people say, stay out of the comments, stay out of the comments, stay out of the comments. Do I? Sometimes. It's something I'm working on. If you all have tips for it, leave them below. <laughs> or just go defend me so I don't have to do it. The more people that defend me in the comments, the more I get to stay out. That's how I look at it. Okay. That was me trying to segue into like a religious topic and I don't know what, because I don't have a video planned for today yet. This is usually the time when I prep, um, watching YouTube videos, finding new topics to think about while I do my hair. Because as you can see, it's just a little bit of a monotonous process. You just go over each curl, over each curl. Some people are really good at separating. I am not good at separating curls. People section it off and go section by section. That way you know you're hitting every curl with product. I can't do that, because I don't have the patience. But if you do, power to you, your hair will look better. 
Uh, uh. Okay, so talking about some religious topics. So people are mentioning in the comments that the washing of the feet is more of an anointing ceremony in the regards to Jesus and Mary. And that's true. That's kind of why I didn't start with that and didn't lead into that. I just thought it was a funny connection. But I mean, if you think about it, there's also places in Ruth where she talks about anointing herself with oils because it's part of a seduction technique. You want to look your best. You want to smell your best before you're trying to seduce somebody into the axe. So it doesn't necessarily negate the point because Mary could have been doing that with Jesus. Also, which Mary was it? I said Magdalene, but in John, it specifically says it's Mary of Bethany. This is a weird hot topic debate. So they think that there's three different occasions and three different ceremonies where Jesus's feet were anointed. And it's been a hot topic of debate. One second. Okay, moose. Moose is gonna be the next step. So I do three different products. We're gonna go through conditioner, moose, then gel. This is also Shea Moisture. I kind of just got a whole entire line off Amazon. And then we go with it. Um, this one is where you want to start being a little bit more careful with the curl. And not really rake it through, but more like gently, gently cover the curls. This will make it shiny and add a little additional hold that the gel doesn't cover. You could just stop at the mousse, but it doesn't add that casein that you need from the gel. Casein protects your curl. That way it closes up the pores of it and it doesn't let it get all frizzy. For the longest time I used to think that gel would damage your hair and dry it out and it's actually the opposite. It locks in that moisture from it being wet. Okay. And this is also where you want to start paying attention to your part. So because we're going into Jesus mode, I'm not going to do a side part, which I usually do. Hi, I'm a millennial. We're going to try to get this to be a more even across the way part. And as it starts drying, you can add um, some more water to your fingers. That way you're just running water back over the curls to stick them together. Because see how they start sticking to the curls next to it? You want to separate them out and kind of run it through. That way the curl stays by itself. Boom. See, frizz, get it together. Boom. All this connected, break it apart. Break it and keep it together. Okay, so where were we at? Yes, so the Roman Catholic Church in the 500s decided that Mary of Bethany and Mary Magdalene were actually the same person, even though Bethany, the town, was much farther away than anywhere we've ever seen Magdalene, which is why now modern scholars think they're two different people. So, the gospel instance, most likely Bethany, Mary of Bethany, Lazarus's sister-in-law, Martha's sister. There's a lot of Marys. I'm starting to think that when they didn't want to name someone, they just called her Mary. Kind of like the gay people do, you know? What are you doing, Mary? Hi. Hi, Mary. Along those lines. Which makes me think that the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence got this. So, we have some like real volume going on and I don't want that. So this is when we add some water. If you have a spray bottle, spray bottle works great. I don't think I have any water in mine, but I have a continuous spray. But this kind of goes all over. It doesn't keep it centralized, which will take off that product you just added. And so let's not do that. Yeah, if you ever have specific topics, leave them in the chat so that I know what we're going to cover next. I kind of just feed off the comments. One conversation leads into the next, which leads into a video. So you're always helping me by commenting things and ideas and questions. Okay. I like doing this while it's a little wet, but then we really separate the curls when I'm adding gel. 
will actually start twisting and twisting and twisting. This is where sectioning would help, so you can get under here. But again, ain't nobody got time. This is also when it becomes so important to like really know your texture of your hair. So right now I know it's damaged. That means we can change the style. Um, also what we're using. <clears throat> so I don't know where my curl goddess gel is, so we're not gonna use that, but that's usually what I would use in this situation. But we're gonna stick with Shea Moisture. Today's an entire Shea Moisture day. So this is curling souffle gel. What that is, I have no idea. Ah. So let's discuss Paul. Cause right now my video is going over where I said that Paul can kick rocks. Yeah, well, homosexuality is a sin, so. Uh, I never said that. Where did you hear this from? Uh, Paul? He wrote about it in Romans. Well, you can go ahead and tell Paul to kick rocks. If he wants to, he can go ahead and start his own religion, okay? Um, oh god, that's a lot of gel. I did not mean that much. So people <laughs> are in there really defending him because the scripture is God-breathed. And I think that's a little ironic because who decided that the scripture was God-breathed? Inspired. However you want to say it. Depends on the text you're using. Well, that was Paul. Paul is the one who said all scriptures were God-breathed. In that instance, he wasn't in scripture yet. His well, letters and his writings were still going out to other people. So, in that instance, he was actually speaking about the Old Testament. Because those are the scriptures that would have been scriptures and that he was studying at the time as a theologian. So, he wasn't actually referencing himself. He wasn't referencing future works that were added and then taken out, like the Apocrypha. He was specifically speaking on the Jewish teachings to make sure that they stayed intact and to make sure that they weren't removed as the religion grew and as the churches decided what they wanted to do. So I think it's an ironic point that people use because they always point to that verse. They point straight to it and say, look, look, Paul is correct because Paul said that Paul is inspired, therefore Paul must be right. Dude, I could easily <laughs> say that uh, mermaids are real. I could then write a separate paper in which I claim that anything I say is actually well-researched and scientifically correct. So me saying that anything I say does not make mermaids a real fact. You can't use somebody's proof of themselves to prove themselves. It's circular, uh, it is circular logic in its finest. Okay. So now is when we're slopping on this gel, too much of it, by the way. Now we can start going through and adding curl back in. So any pieces that are looking not so tight, you wanna go with the curl pattern. Which, how you decide that, I don't know. You just kind of feel it. Like this one feels like it's gonna go this way. So I curl it counterclockwise. Yeah, I was right. And sometimes it'll just straighten it out instead of curling it, and then you have to go the opposite way. Like, so if I go this way, kind of too straight. Actually, it came out okay. This is where it gets a little easier to do in the mirror, so bear with me. I'm sorry if I'm not always looking at camera, but these lights make my hair look better than it actually is. So I'm missing spots. Because in real life, I can see more frizz than it is on camera. Okay. And this is also where the plopping is going to help to define the curls, to keep them together. This could be the longest part of the process if you really get in there and start sectioning it. You would just pull it back, pin it, and then just start going through. See, we found a dry bit. So that means we probably should break that up. I don't even know where the camera is. Hi, camera. Okay, the looser the curls, the more you're gonna be able to break them up and make them floaty and voluminous later. So if you do like a whole bunch of tiny ones, your hair is gonna be more up. The bigger you go, the more heavy it is, the longer it'll lay down flat. Depends on the look you're going for. Again, we're going for Jesus. I like to get my hair 
down to the side. If you want volume, you can add a diffuser into your routine. That gets crazy. I'm bad at diffusing, so I don't do it. Okay. Can we go through like this? Gonna go through like this. Okay, now I'm just going through and adding just a little bit more gel to the root, not the root, the end of the curl. Um, we're adding a lot of gel today. I don't usually add this much gel, but I'm just so worried that it's dry that I'm overcompensating um, or that it has too much moisture. I'm not a professional. Do not take any of my advice. I mean, like, you know, you can watch and do whatever you want, but okay. It's time to pop. So, I just pop with a regular old t-shirt. They do sell things that you can pop your hair with specifically that are micro tiles, micro fiber tiles, and probably do a lot better job. I just use a t-shirt. You can try to get all your hair flipped over, kind of almost in like a little bun, so it falls on top. Put the head of the shirt right in front and flip the back over. Like this. That way when your head's right here, you can tie this in the back with the arms all the way around. Okay, let's try this on my knee. Oh my God, this is not gonna work. Oh, this is why I need a vanity. Oh my god, I might have got it. Okay. Once you have this on your head, you're gonna use the sleeves to go ahead and tie it down. That was sad. That was the saddest experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs> okay. Don't ever try to do it on your knee the way I did. But now that this is here, I like to roll it up a little bit. That way it doesn't cause a crease on my forehead. So you can see there's a curl popping out. That's gonna be problematic when we take it out. And now you're gonna leave it in for 30 minutes to try to just dry a little bit of that moisture out while improving encapsulating the curl in the gel. We'll come back after 30 minutes and see what happens. Uh, bye. Hi, hello, I'm so sorry. I'm dumb because I thought I should have probably uh, taken this off on camera so you could see it come off. Like there's something satisfying about taking off the plop, but I'm stupid and didn't do that. I'm not putting it back on just to recreate. So I'm leaving it where it fell. This is how it falls. Now we need to kind of <clears throat> re see how you can see where the that was tied. That's why you don't want to tie it so tight. Um, now we just need to get it back to where it needs to go. Now we need to separate the hairs back out. Some of them are going to have dried in really weird positions. So you just need to wet the root a little bit so you can re reposition where it needs to go at. Like this is, this is doing some weird shit right here. So I left it in a little bit longer than I should have, but now what we're gonna do is let it dry. I tried, instead of diffusing it, I legitimately let the weight do the work and kind of like hold my head to the side so it can dry my roots. Is it good for your neck? Probably not. But it will stretch it out and give it a little bit more volume. And uh, I just kind of walk around, do some housework like that, watch some TikToks, you know, do the thing and just let it kind of hang here. And uh, every now and then just kind of fluff it a little bit, shake the root, shake the root. That way it doesn't just totally dry completely flat. But again, I'm going for a flat look. So this would be avoided if you wanted to use a diffuser. Maybe I'll do it one time in a video. I don't know. You'll see what it looks like. And again, this isn't my favorite hair stuff. As you can see, we have frizz going on. So you're just gonna go through and kind of get some of those frizzy bits out. Like, it looks so bad. Mm. This is why you take care of your hair. 
The more you take care of your hair, the less of a problem this is going to be. And then, like I said, if you re-wet it and reset it, it's also going to be better. Because this is from the shirt. This is from where it was contacting the shirt. And again, microfiber is the best when plopping. Because you will have to come back through and kind of reestablish some of these some of these frizz points here. That's why it's happening mainly on the crown of my head. So if you can, just go through, reestablish the curl, pull these up and into that curl. Okay. And there you have it. <clears throat> Hair tutorial. I'll come back when it's dry. I should probably stop playing with it because I'm going to have to do it again. I pinned my... I should probably turn this off. <laughs> I'm um, probably going to have to come back to it and show you what it looks like when it's dry, when I put on my makeup. While I'm doing my makeup, I pin it up into the sides, which means it kind of dries like that too. And then we have to go back in. <clears throat> and once again, re wet and readjust. <sighs> Curly hair is a lot of work. And this is why I only get ready on the weekends. The good news is once you get this all established and you style your hair, you can really wear it like this all week. You really can. So that's your goals. Keep that in mind. You only have to do this once a week. Um, I should start oiling my hair again. I have a whole oil system that I haven't been using and you can really tell but that needs to be goals coming up soon. Well, that's a weird look. Isn't that weird? Just a little uneven. Just a little bit. Oh, they can't. They can't get this thing open. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. So now we're gonna do my makeup with my hair back, just like such. And like I said, we'll come back when the hair is dry. Thanks. Okay, and here we are. So you have some bounce, you got some curls. Uh, that's the finished product. I didn't do my makeup like I said I was going to, but this is it dry. Uh, so as you can see, it's a little bit heavier because I used that gel. It is just not as shiny as when I'm using those silicone based things, but hopefully my hair will start to return to normal. You can see how it's almost like a thin texture. That's because I've been using the wrong product. So, once we have this in, we're going to be able to uh, sleep in it for a couple days. Like I said, there's still some scrunch from the gel, so that's going to hold it for a while, but it's going to get a little bit looser over the next couple days. If you're taking your shower, just make sure to put it up on top of your head. This is also how I put it up when I'm sleeping. Just kind of hold it in, slip over a bonnet for protection, and that way it doesn't get wet and you don't have to redo it all over again because... You kind of just want to get that case going and then you want it to just grow over the days. If you need to reset it, which is what I'm going to do here in a little bit, uh, just keep on wetting it. Wet the little loose curls like that, get them back together, get them in their place, and then set it. And that's it. That's my hair routine. Uh, I'm going to start doing more of these with different products, I think, and hopefully add a little bit more religion in. I didn't have a lot of time to talk about uh, theological concepts in this video. But we could probably even just start casually talking about how hell isn't real and how it was added in. We could talk about Paradise Lost once I read it. I haven't read it yet. I want to read it. Talking about the rapture. Different things that are added into Christianity is my favorite topic. Things that aren't biblical, but act like they're biblical. So if you have ideas on subjects, you can comment those below. Please subscribe. Uh, this is a new channel, so I don't know what I'm doing here. But thank you for coming if you're watching this i don't know i haven't posted it yet so i don't even know who this might interest but thank you for hanging out and i will see you around hopefully talk soon